You ever wonder what would happen if the Earth's magnetic poles flipped? No, not just the planet's compass needle, but like actually flipping from true north to true south. It turns out your city would either be in the tropics or underwater. That's about 3,900 miles per second, which is a lot when you think about how fast something would need to go to kill you. Basically anything above 750 miles per hour can kill you. And unlike asteroids, these solar winds are constant. If we didn't have a magnetic field, we'd get fried like an egg on a hot rock every day. This data included things like temperature, precipitation, wind speed, etc. Then they used that algorithm to create a new model that could project changes to the Earth. S climate under different conditions. And some parts of the world would be both really hot and underwater at the same time. Let's check it out. So they created two scenarios. One with a 60-year time span like the last pole shift, and another with a more rapid shift that happens in only one year. What they found was not pretty. So yeah, the entire city would now be in the ocean. But wait, what's this landmass over here? Oh, that's Greenland. Yep, because sea levels would rise around New York. But they'd drop in other places like Greenland where the ice sheets would expand. And sometimes the flow of that iron gets messed up and the magnetic poles flip. If you were hoping to bug out to Canada well, you wouldn't make it far. It'd be like walking into a freezer. Here's what Canada would look like after 60 years of gradual pole shifting. Here's what Australia would look like during the slower pole shift. Not great. Some parts of the country would be underwater while others would be absolutely scorched. See that giant sheet of ice? Yeah, that wasn't there before. Darwin would probably be abandoned due to rising sea levels and heat, while Brisbane would be buried under ice. One idea is to send a massive current through the Earth's core to reset the flow of the outer core. But the problem with that is getting a massive current through the Earth's core. We've got lots of content covering the collapse of society, the heat death of the universe, and many other topics. There's something for everyone. So check it out. Well, this map should give you a sense of it. These red spots are the areas that would be both underwater and extremely hot. And New Zealand wouldn't fare much better. Their two biggest cities would be destroyed. Well, it means that even though the Earth has survived pole shifts in the past, that doesn't mean they're not dangerous. Any major disruption to the climate, even if it's temporary, could lead to mass extinctions, fortunately. It also means that we have plenty of time to prepare. Well, technically it was, but it was all floating in the ocean. Now it's on land. So maybe we can use that time to build bunkers or whatever it is rich people do to prepare for the end of the world. Or maybe we should spend that time figuring out how to reverse it. So if you're good at math or physics or whatever it is that smart people are good at, then maybe you can save the planet. Otherwise, you can just watch this video again and share it with your friends. Here's what New York would look like during the last magnetic pole shift 800 years ago. See those little dots in the ocean? Those are supposed to be islands. So yeah, most of New York would be underwater. That last happened about 800 years ago and took about 60 years to complete. But the thing is we don't know exactly why it happens or when it will happen again. Every major U.S. city along the southeastern coast would be completely underwater. All we know is that the speed of light is about 186,000 miles per second. So we know it would happen quickly. Well, that one would be worse. Not only would most of Canada be under a thick layer of ice, but the ice would also extend much further south. In fact, a lot of the United States would be covered in ice. You might assume that nothing much would happen. After all, this is just a piece of metal that happens to be about 4,000 miles away. But that doesn't mean it's a walk in the park. Well, no, it turns out that part of the country would just be really hot. Here's what the temperature would look like during a one-year pole shift. Most of the U.S. would be toast, including Las Vegas, San Francisco, Portland and Seattle. In fact, it's been suggested that the global climate could change so dramatically that it would cause mass extinctions. But it turns out our planet's magnetic poles flipping would be quite literally the end of the world as we know it. In fact, 
Scientists have been worried enough about this possibility to program an artificial intelligence to simulate it. And what the AI found was pretty terrifying. The Earth's magnetic field protects us from solar winds, which are basically charged particles that shoot out from the sun at over 900 miles per hour. We do have a magnetic field, but it's generated by the movement of our planet's molten iron outer core. Now there's some debate as to whether a magnetic pole flip would cause a true apocalypse, especially since it seems like life on Earth has survived it multiple times. To understand what might happen, Researchers at the National Institute for Computational Sciences in Italy trained a machine learning algorithm on data from the European Center for Medium Range Weather. Forecasts. In this case, they wanted to see what would happen if the magnetic poles flipped. So let's start with the good news. And here's what New York would look like if the magnetic poles flipped in one year. Greenland isn't the only place where the ice sheets would grow. What about the pole shift that happens in just one year? But wait, let's zoom in on Florida. Yeah, sorry, but that one's gone. And it's not just Florida. But what about California? That's on the other side of the country, right? Surely it'll be okay. And don't think you'd be safe if you headed north. Of course, not everyone lives in the United States and the impacts wouldn't be uniform even there. Sydney, Melbourne and Perth would all be underwater, but Adelaide would be pretty toasty. But what about during the rapid pole shift? So what does this all mean? Scientists say the next pole shift won't happen for hundreds of thousands of years. If not millions. Researchers have concluded that if we want to prevent the worst effects of the next pole shift, we'll need to find a way to flip the poles back. Still, scientists say it's doable. We just need to figure out how, hey. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this quick dive into the doomsday scenario, you might enjoy our other videos as well.